Good morning, this is Pastor Brian. Thanks for joining me as we read a chapter a day from the book of Hebrews. Today we'll be reading chapter 6. I'll be reading from the Common English Bible. And let's see what chapter 6 has to say. So let's press on to maturity by moving on from the basics about Christ's word. Let's not lay a foundation of turning away from dead works, of faith in God, of teaching about ritual ways to wash in water, laying on of hands, and the resurrection from the dead, and eternal judgment, all over again. We're going to press on, if God allows it. Because it's impossible to restore people to changed hearts and lives who turn away once they have seen the light, tasted the heavenly gift, become partners with the Holy Spirit, and tasted God's good word and the powers of the coming age. They are crucifying God's Son all over again and exposing Him to public shame. The ground receives a blessing from God when it drinks up the rain that regularly comes and falls on it and yields a useful crop for those people for whom it is being farmed. But if it produces thorns and thistles, it's useless and close to being cursed. It ends up being burned. But, you, but we are convinced of better things in your case, brothers and sisters, even though we are talking this way. Things that go together with salvation. God isn't unjust so that he forgets your efforts and the love you have shown for his name's sake when you served and continue to serve God's holy people. But we desperately want each of you to show the same effort to make your hope sure until the end. This is so you won't be lazy, but follow the example of the ones who inherit the promise through faith and patience. When God gave Abraham his promise, he swore himself since he couldn't swear by anyone greater. He said, I will certainly bless you and multiply your descendants. So Abraham obtained the promise by showing patience. People pledged by something greater than themselves. A solemn pledge guarantees what they say and shuts down an argument. When God wants to further demonstrate to the heirs of the promises, that the purpose doesn't change, he guaranteed it with a solemn pledge. So these are two things that don't change, because it's impossible for God to lie. He did this so that we, who have taken refuge in him, can be encouraged to grasp this hope that is lying in front of us. This hope, which is a safe and secure anchor for our whole being, enters the sanctuary behind the curtain. That's where Jesus went in advance and entered for us, since he became a high priest, according to the order of Melchizedek. It's the end of chapter 6. Uh, we see kind of a, a bit of a continuation towards the end of uh, chapter 6 of what was talked about in chapter 5, especially about this, this order of Melchizedek that, uh, that Jesus is a part of, uh, which does come from uh, Psalm 110, as well as other places in the Bible, uh, being a part of the, the high priestly class. And that Jesus is a part of that and stepped in the curtain. And we even see in uh, the Gospels that it talks about the curtain being torn in two, and that when Jesus dies, that separation of God and people is, um, is no longer there. And so I think this is kind of a, another way of sharing a, a similar imagery of that. Uh, but the chapter also talks about uh, continuing to grow in, uh, in faith, to become more mature in your faith, and that there are some basic things for someone who has faith, and the author doesn't really want to go over all of those again, uh, but hopes that they can build off of those and become a uh, more mature person in Christ, uh, accepting uh, and receiving all the blessings that God offers. And so that's kind of what this chapter uh, is about. Um, just making sure that people, as uh, I believe the text says, making sure people kind of give an effort, show an effort that they are uh, holding fast to the faith, that they don't get lazy, that they don't get complacent uh, in their faith, that, uh, you know, sometimes we can get, with anything in life, get too comfortable. And uh, that's 
never really a good thing um, and that we should always be striving to do more or better with what uh, we have in this life and that is especially true when it comes to our faith and that is why uh, we do Bible study so that we can continue to grow and uh, understand even more fully the things that uh, that we maybe already think we know about the Bible. So what did you hear? What did you learn? What made you really think hard about something? Write it down, share it with a friend, share it with us. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.